To some visitors, conservation might seem rather mysterious, but we're hoping to demystify um, this process that is involved in the conservation of a work of art, such as Woman Ochre, and for the visitor to gain a better understanding of the various steps involved. In 1985, a couple walked into the University of Arizona Museum of Art very early in the morning. And she stayed downstairs and he went upstairs and left shortly thereafter. The guard went upstairs to see if anything was amiss because their visit was so short. And Woman Ogre had been slashed from the frame. When the thief proceeded to cut the painting out of its frame, he didn't immediately succeed in cutting through the entire structures of the canvas, not realizing that it was still adhered to a secondary canvas. Because it was adhered, it had to be peeled away. And as it peeled away, the more brittle paint surface began to crack. And that resulted in the horizontal lines of damage that we see today. A large patch was added to the reverse of the original canvas and adhered using common white glue. They also added a second varnish of a natural resin called Damar to the surface. And they did this in all likelihood to improve the appearance of the surface. The next choice was to attach it to a new strainer. And so a portion of the original canvas was turned around the edge of the strainer and used to attach the painting to the wooden strainer. Staples were driven through what had been the face of the original canvas into this new stretcher. Shortly after the painting was recovered in 2017, the University of Arizona Museum of Art approached the Getty to see if we might be able to take on this very complex treatment. We began any conservation project with a great deal of looking, simply with our eyes, with magnification, with microscopes, and with a variety of different forms of light, which can tell us a great deal about the state of a painting. So one of the um, treatment steps, of course, um, involved a remarriage, if you will, of the cutout canvas with its original border. I began by removing the painting from the strainer. Once we removed it from the strainer, it was necessary to flatten those edges to return them to one plane so that we could attach the original edges that had been left behind in Arizona. So the structural treatment, um, which took about two years um, to perform, um, was then followed by the aesthetic um, recompensation of the paint losses, which we call in-painting or retouching, which is done with paints or conservation colors that are very stable, but 100% reversible. In any conservation project, there is a moment at which those who encounter the painting no longer see the damage. They begin to see the painting again. And that is the moment at which we know that the work is nearly done.